And I think we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no intro, uh, because the safety car, as you can see, is in this lap. Um, not enough time for the sponsor during this one. We will, I'm sure we will come to it later on. Speaking of the sponsor. Got to wet my whistle. Before we get going again. So, as you were, we've got uh, 20, uh, 19 laps to go. Uh, AMS Drive is pacing the field in Sector 3. Oh, they're all bunching up. This is going to end badly, but this, unfortunately, is the best way to restart, given the unpredictability of the safety cars. AMS Drive has gone right towards the line Brookie has kept with him into turn one. So AMS Drive staying in the lead, pitting onto the hard tyres. Interesting. I think he could have possibly stretched the mediums, but nevertheless, we go again. There's a little bit of action going further back on the grid. Um, we could see some action going into turn three. A lot of side-by-sides. Oh, there's been an accident. Oh. Uh, Revengezilla and Tornado, I think, somehow. Both still yeah, in the race. It yeah, looks like they got caught. Oh, Ooh, Zella. I'm going to assume his tyres were red hot. Or he yeah. was a very angry boy. I'm, I'm going to go with hot tyres because I hope he wouldn't react like that. Yeah, uh, we've got a change in leader, you know. So Brookie on the Brookie fresh mediums knows. has made the tyre advantage count. He gets past AMS drive on the hard tyres. On lap 8. I suppose the question is, can Brookie keep them mediums to the end now? Um, or does he need to stop again? I, I, I know the mediums feel really good around this trap, but I don't know if they'll go to the end from this point. He's going to have to rely on uh, having very little tyre wear and also, uh, <laughs> more than likely, another safety car, I think. Ray Lyx gets Ray passed Lyx. by collateral ads. So the man's yeah, going he... backwards. Those hard tyres not serving uh, AMS and Ray very well. Ali Ferrari also onto the hard tyres, interestingly, then. We see I think... cars pitting onto the hards now. Sorry, TJ. I think Ray was a bit unlucky. I saw him try to make a move to turn one an object and didn't quite have the space so he had to back out and lost he, he almost lost it but i think that's the reason why collateral got him in the end yeah collateral capital or capitalization of the mistake <laughs> i don't know where i was going with that <laughs> either way collateral um, adds up into fourth then the number 78 of a Relix in the Ferrari. Got to get his composure back. And work his way back forward. Perhaps just got to focus on getting the hard tyres switched on. As AMS looks like he hasn't managed to do yet. As he is now 1.8 seconds behind Brookie Manny Messi in P1. Um, yep, Gary's also offered an alternative name for Collateral. Um, DRS gets a name. I, mean, <laughs> I know why. I know why Gary said that, and um, yeah, that's um, that's fair play. Yeah. Um, he 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 gives it. He can get it sometimes. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, definitely. For those of you who cannot read. Collateral prick. There you go. I've said it. I know he would love. <laughs> he'd have loved me saying that on stream. 
Absolutely. Uh, at the moment, Collateral is leading the charge from AMS Drive. He's got Object Fungus for company at the moment. Uh, Object is going to be egging Collateral on. Um, he says if he probably take it upon himself soon enough to say if you can't get past him I'm getting past you um, we will quite possibly see the move into the DRS zone these hard tyres are really not working out for these drivers no not at all I think it's um, I, I, I personally hate the hard tyres in this game I, I, I try to avoid them you know they do take four or five laps to switch on um, Obviously, you get the, the you get the increased advantage that the tyres do go longer, um, but yeah, you know this is the reason why I really avoid them because you, you just drop back so much on them first four or five laps. Yeah. The, to be fair, after those four or five laps, they're consistent, and you know you you're probably never going to see the drop off in them. But is it worth those four or five laps? And I suppose that is a difference of opinion between between TJ and myself I think it's worth it TJ yeah it, I mean yeah it is I, I, I just I don't like using them because it you know how much time we do lose them four or five laps and uh, but the, the advantage is there you know they don't drop off as much um, but it's, it's just do, do you want to miss, miss them four or five laps where you are falling backwards I'll tell you what I wouldn't want to risk it in tier one going backwards no. Some of these drivers are very feisty. So the gap from Brookie in first to Collateral Ads is currently sitting around 2.2 seconds. It was two seconds a second ago, and now Miss Drive managing to hang on to the back of Ads for the moment anyway. Object Fungus will probably be able to have a look. Um, I think AMS will probably be able to defend with a slipstream and DRS from those in front. Dino has crashed out, it seems. Dino has gone no. between oh. turns 13 14. That's an interesting place to crash. And the safety yeah. car is out. The safety car, safety car. Oh, look! Sod off, Pickle. Is he in the uh, chat? Are you in the chat? I think Piggle. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, Zilla. What Zilla? Yeah, doing? drive, drive through penalty for speeding under safety car conditions. And just for good measure, he's binned it into the castle section, and he's uh -oh. binned it out of the castle section. Binned it, binned it. I don't think he was having a particularly great race. Um, and I'd like to think that that was not on purpose, although it very much did look like it. <clears throat> Zilla? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We'll move on from that. Um, uh, Piggle says we're bullying him. <laughs> well, whatever you did to make me put that on stream, Piggle, you obviously deserved it. <laughs> Um, and if I can work out how to change the text, he asked for a face reveal. Ah, yeah, you deserved it. Um, there you go. You can have up the pickle for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you you get a face cam when you do a uh, when you do a actual interview, Piggle. Actually, you did do an interview, didn't he? <laughs> when you yeah, do a face yeah. cam, keep that all season. I tell you what, we'll, we'll we'll keep it all season. I'm just gonna put it there and go. Uh, let's see how far 
stack we can move that it's a bit of a pain to move this to be honest let's just move it behind the game capture shall we that sounds good uh, keep it civil in the chat Piggle keep it civil you leave Snedden alone what Snedden gets up to in his own time with the stewards is entirely his business <laughs> Uh, well, we're on the safety car, TJ. And um, that can only mean one thing. It can only mean one thing, you know. I mean, he did come knocking on the last safety car and we, we didn't answer the door. Yeah. Um, yeah. And but this time I is... think we're ready to accept it with open arms. And that means, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to hear from this week's sponsor. This is a reminder to all you lovely viewers that this stream is sponsored by Davies, Davies, David's bevy of the week. So this is the section where I tell you all about the lovely drink that I am drinking while chatting to all you lovely buggers. And we, we get CoComs involved. Of course we get CoComs involved. This week, I am drinking a JD Honey and Pepsi Max. Uh, it's rather vanilla, but I'll tell you what, sometimes you just got to go vanilla. Uh, what about Cocoms today? What what has my Cocoms got? I'm, um, I'm drinking uh, whiskey. Just, just straight whiskey. A couple of um, whiskey vaps in there. Um, lovely. Very nice. On the rocks? On the rocks. On, On the rocks. rocks. Especially, it's been a lovely day. So yeah, why not? Why not? Uh, what what whiskey is it? If you don't mind me asking. It's it's my favourite one, and uh, I do shout this out to uh, to one of the drivers in this tier. Um, it's Monkey Shoulders. Yeah, I knew where you were going with that. So yeah, here he is, P <laughs> twelve, Monkey Shoulder. Is that the? <laughs> is that the? Flavoured, whiskey. No, it's um, uh, I'm not sure I'm what you're about there, but it's, it's thinking, definitely not flavoured. Yeah, I'm thinking of something else. It's it's whiskey flavoured. Anyway, it looks like we're getting ready to go again. So, Brookie leaving plenty of room, and he has gone. Collateral ads has gone with him. He might have a look into turn one. He covers the inside AMS drive is losing out collateral ads around the outside of brookie makes it stick great move from ads brookie right on the back of ads there Ads defends it gets the drive off the corner now if i know ads and i do he's gonna rinse all his ers this lap <laughs> in an attempt to get away from these drivers behind. And I'll tell you what, that safety car is probably coming at a very nice time for these hard runners. Yeah, definitely, because the, the, the tyres should be um, wild and truly embedded now. Um, and they, sh they should be getting a lot of performance out of them. Yeah. Of course, that's uh, going to be pointed at AMS Drive and Ali Ferrari. Seems can't remember who who was the other hard runner. Um... Ray Lyx is coming and fit fresh mediums. So he's down in P13, but those are fresh mediums, and he should be able to take them to the end of the race from here. Let's see, let's keep an eye on his progress. All the guys currently on mediums, actually. Seven lap old mediums. After that safety card, I'd put put money on them being able to go to the end. Um, they will have done a total of, I believe, 19 laps. But a couple yeah. of them on the safety car. Yeah. Actually, three um... or four of them, in fact. Oh, oh, Ali's Ali out. Car is out. Another safety car. <laughs> well, 
What's happened um, there? It looks like on turn one. Turn one, yeah. I wonder if you got squeezed to the wall or something. Or maybe you just lost it. Yeah, not quite sure what's happening there. Uh, I'm sure he'll let us know in the meantime. We'll, uh, we'll just bring back the old friend of the Sod of Piggle. <laughs> um, I mean, some of our viewers might be questioning why so many safety cars, and we do have it on reduced rounds um, on all tracks. But um, with Baku, especially, if, if a driver does crash out, that there's obviously no room for him to crash out on it on the gravel. Um, the safety cars can come out to clean up the mess as such. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you what, this is. A joke. Like, why, why even put it on reduced if one person crashes? Oh, safety car, safety car. Just no. Why? Oh, TTV glads. Oh no. Uh, who is it that had a uh, drive-through last time? Zilla. Zilla. All oh, right. Yeah. So he's out. So interestingly, TTV it looks like he's had to give up so much time getting back in the Delta. Awesome car's gone straight past him. I, mean, I don't understand how his nose does look that high. <laughs> um, Probably would not as... paying attention. All the medium looks like the medium runners and the top ten are coming in. I'll tell you what, it's a bold move to go soft to the end, but I'll tell you what, if your Ooh. AMS drive... You're scared right now. At the moment, three cars have stayed... Four cars stayed out. No, I, I don't want to... Uh, obviously, scare these soft runners. And, you know, it says, it says a bold move to do it because they'll be quicker. But given the tier three race last night where some of the guys did try to go for 10, 11 laps on the softs, the, uh, the rears were very unstable towards the back end of the stint. And I know that better than most. And the thing is, it catches you out by surprise. Completely by surprise. You feel fine, then all of a I'm sudden your rears let go. And then you end up in a wall in the last corner of the last lap, and you lose all your bloody positions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So, there's a safety car, and... It looks like we've got five runners total in the softs. And I'll tell you what, I don't fancy the chances of Tornado or AMS towards uh, uh, the end of this race on their current compound of tyres. Collateral in P5 at the moment. Fresh softs really needs to make the most of them. He should be looking to get Tornado in turn one or two, trying to keep up with Ray Lyax, who will be much faster than Tornado on his fresh mediums. Um, thankfully, I think... Um, it'll be very close but I don't think the safety car will be in this lap it, no it's too late okay as yeah we're just waiting to see where TTV glads came in so round we go once again <laughs> I'm, I'm just reading the switch chat and the, the bad between Nigel and Snedden is, uh, is is on fire so uh, N Nigel says he isn't sure if we love him or hate him which is a strange feeling and Snedden replied saying it's definitely a love-hate relationship. But mostly hate. <laughs> um, and then Nigel said that he agrees with your comments about the, the rears going all of a sudden. Um, and then Ben in the wall and you lose the win. Yeah, but, I don't... I don't but, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I feel like that's, that's, that's a real thing that's happened at some point. So maybe we shouldn't talk about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean... I, I, I do want to say that Nigel's was different to yours, obviously. That you, you, yours unfortunately happened on track, whereas Nigel binned it in the pit wall. Just, just saying there, Nigel. 
Yeah, very true. <laughs> Although, I think that was in qualifying. No, he, he definitely oh. binned it the same corner. <laughs> It's not my fault <laughs> you got kicked out before the mini cheddars arrived. I, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of mini cheddars. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty it's mid, high mid-tier high. snack. Um, what would my snack of choice be? I don't know. I, I was thinking I, that, that could be a topic. I love um, mini cheddar crinkles. I've never had the crinkles. I've also oh, I've heard out. the Red Leicester ones are quite nice as well, actually. Never had the Red Leicester ones. It's uh, made. It says a cheese and onion um, mini cheddar crinkles. Oh. I don't know why. But they 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 are just you know, they they they're my snack. To definite. They definitely sound pretty good. Safety car will be in this lap. Let's go back. Transition, ladies and gents. We'll get underway while AMS Drive once again holds the pack up. Oh, and it looks like they are getting ready to go. Yeah, AMS Coach is back Jack up pretty nicely. Having absolutely none of it as AMS drive in front weaving. To, oh, oh, monkey, monkey boy! Oh! What's happened there? Severe collision. Awesome cars in the pits. Meanwhile, Clutch Jack and Ray Lights going side by side. Ray Lights has got past Clutch Jack. Collateral adds MP4 up the inside of turn. Two has got. Pass Clutch Jack into P3. Now he needs to push. Shots to Drippy making up a position up into 12th. We're doing it all right so far. We're coming into turn three. A few of them yet again side by side. Again, looking mostly clean. It's very hard to capture the action here as Tornado has had a nightmare start on those hard tyres down into 8th position Noko and Yorkie fighting, don't do it lads don't do it oh. Yorkie, ever the smart man <laughs> pulls out before they go side by side into Castle I did have a joke with him before the race started that he'd go side by side with someone, so I'm, I'm glad he hasn't uh, gone through with the joke I have with him. Yeah. Oh, Ray Lyx is right on the back of AMS Drive. Now, as rubbered in as Drive's tyres will be right now, they will be no match for Ray Lyx's tyres, which are still in their prime. And Collateral Ads looks like he's trying to get both of them. He makes slight contact with the back of Ray Lyx, but he will have the inside into turn one for lap 19. Ray Lyx keeps it in there, leaves the space. That's some great racing from the two. AMS Drive hangs in behind. On to P3. Brookie's got some work to do, as has H. Chris. What? Oh, yeah. So, Collateral adds past Ray Lyx then. He's got to make these tyres count while he can. He'll only have a few more laps left laps in them. Left. Yeah, it's, um, he's done the moves as quick as he can, which is great. Um, the, the people who's not caught me is, is Bookie Men and uh, Christy. The, the longest they've behind the AMS drive here. Um, the quicker them tyres is going to burn up and ideally they the want to try to get them moved on within the next lap I'd, I'd say to get the maximum of them tyres yeah and if, if you are AMS Drive and you're playing the team game like I'm sure he is he's going to do his utmost to slow down Brookie in P4 allow Christy to get past 
obviously all within the rules. Phenom gets back up into P10. That's been a good effort from him after slightly... And he's out. As he's as out. Oh, he's dropped to coming off the, the last corners. Ooh, he's good. Oh, God. Ooh. That is... That's a VSC. How has no one gone into him? I have no idea. Yeah, that that's the best oh. car um, that we were talking about in the last safety car. I mean, that's happened really soon to him, but obviously his V's have just gone on him. And he has he's had no warning and he's yeah. just Oof. gone as he's gone on the corner. His teammate of all people <laughs> weaving at the last second as everyone has managed to get past collateral broad ads oh. ads ads so the VSC is over then and we have a new leader in Array Lyx a couple of drivers opting to pit onto softs unfortunately just as the VSC was ending it's not Quite enough laps, I don't think, to make those count. But you can definitely see this potentially getting in AMS Drive's favour at this point. He just needs to keep close, needs to keep an eye on Brookie behind him. So what's happened to Christie? Christie now into ninth position. He's obviously had a problem somewhere, maybe a half spin. Yeah, he's the, lost a wing end plate. Yeah, lost some, yeah. Uh, left end plate and he will be fuming, I'm sure, into the pits he comes. I'm sure if he can navigate. I'll tell you what, it's harder than it looks to do that with a damaged front wing. Um, Yorkie and Noko having a little battle here. As Noko's got the best of him. Or oh, Chris speeds into the, the pit lane. He, oh, Brook had the chance to get moved on an AMS drive there, but for better of it. He's going to try to stick with him for the rest of this and then try to take him on the, uh, on the massive DRS chase. Uh, yeah, um, to be honest, I'm not sure if that's the right strategy because Ray Lyx is pulling away and you can get so much more time out of these soft tyres in this second sector. He's just going to be held up massively. The gap has grown to 2.2 seconds. Wait. Yeah. I would have put money on Brookie being able to close into the DRS of Ray Lyx. Uh, that's if it's active yet. Is it this lap or next lap? Uh, I'm sure it's active because I'm sure I saw Brookie use it down. Mm, yep, very true. So the gap 2.2 in Brookie finds himself in a situation where he's possibly got to work with AMS Drive to catch up Ray Lyx. Yeah, so imagine Brookie can fly past him at this point. Um, is he going to get moved on? Outside. Yeah, and gets that done, no problem. However, AMS will have the slipstream here. And the DRS, Brookie going very wide. Grazing the wall, it probably has got away with it. Um, AMS Drive content to hang on for the moment. There is four lap, four and a bit laps remaining. Phenom, meanwhile, up into P6. It's been a good recovery from him so far. He's got past Lewis Yorkie, and who again is doing a, a, I reckon he's doing a lot better than he thought he was going to do especially after that first attempt awesome car P14 setting the fastest lap his fan club in the chat I'm sure will be happy to see his name up at the top of the screen in purple uh, 
LWS Yorkie making a little bit of a hash uh, for the castle section. Oh. Meanwhile, coming into sector three is Brookie Nanny Messi. He's still two seconds behind Ray Lyx. He's got 22% ERS and Ray's got 46. Thankfully for Brookie, he's gapped AMS drive a little bit and that just goes to show the pace that Ray Lyx has on those medium tyres. He's pulling the gap and keeping uh, pulling the gap to AMS and keeping the gap to Brookie on those fresh softs, fresh-ish softs, I should say. Yeah, while well, you're talking about AMS, them, them hards are, are giving up on him now. Um, he hasn't gained the performance out of him. The object Fungus has closed the gap behind him and Noko, he got to over the back of him as well. Um, yeah, no Noko having a, a, a nice bit of speed. He set the purple lap earlier. Uh, has been taken away since, but he's showing some good pace on those mediums he's yeah like like object in front is stuck behind i'm sure phenom will want to catch up as well but those hards are really not working um it's unfortunate no. yeah it's, it's probably because about safety cars advisor because obviously he would have gone in the temperatures and it will have cooled down he will have gone back to temperature again and you know it's I suppose it's a little bit like the old life, the more you heat them up and bring them back down to temperature, that the performance just goes on. I think you give the uh, Codemasters too much credit to think that's a thing in this game. Uh, we're, we're, well, may we're, maybe I'm cynical. <laughs> <laughs> um, either way, I mean, the, the hard ties aren't working for me anymore. Um, and I expect Object and potentially Noko get past him here I fancy, both get DRS. I fancy Noko to take both of them I think being that third place driver in the train he's a little bit too far back he pulls out of it on AMS drive he might not be able to get him onto this straight between two and three um, he's He's given it his best, but AMS does have the DRS, which is helping him immensely. So, Object Fungus then, looking to be on the podium yet again. He has got past, he has just got two and a half laps left to go. Meanwhile, at the front, Brookie unable to make a dent as shots to Drippy has retired. It looks like on the exit of turn one. <coughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's right on the exit, and eight awesome cars have to do a pretty quick reaction to avoid the car. Um, he's obviously gone a bit wide and hit the wall and bounced back into track. Um, obviously, the safety car won't come out with two laps remaining. There is a test program that there'll be two racing laps at the end of every race, so um. Which, which is good. We don't need a safety car at this point. Um, Definitely don't want an Abu Dhabi situation. Although there are no, <laughs> there are no lap cars, so I guess we can't. Oh, Chris has picked up the first and only free second of the day. That's not something you see very often right there. AMS Drive with a flashing red light usually masterful ERS but he's trying absolutely everything to keep uh, this place from Noko. He's really keeping on the back of Object Fungus. Less than two laps to go. Can AMS Drive still pull a podium out of this? Um, I mean, he'll be hoping he can, obviously, with his uh, the Valley Ferrari out, so you know, it, it's a case of him just trying to close that gap back up to the to championship leader now. Um, so yeah, he'll he, be hoping for a, a podium here. Um, but will them hards give him, give him what he wants? Yeah, I think as long as he can keep in the DRS of Object Fungus, he's got a shout. 
and definitely has a shout. Of course, that also keeping that DRS is crucial to him fending off the two Mercs right behind him. <clears throat> yeah, um, I mean, I, I wonder if he's. I wonder if he's. Um, well, well, if, oh, and Clutch Jack's house. Oh, Clutch Jack. It. And Glad's. Glad's oh, also. I think. I think Glad's has just hit the back of Boots. That's. There's no. There's no car close enough to see what's going on. Say. Awesome. Oh. Oh! <laughs> I'll tell you what, new, new underwear required for for awesome car. <laughs> I, I I know I nearly need some for him. Yeah. Um, yeah, that. Yeah, that is him. unfortunate. We are on to the last lap. And Phenom has taken AMS Drive. And his teammate as well, importantly. And I'll tell you what, there's something feisty coming up towards the end of this race. So, Ray Lyx has managed to pull away. He's now three seconds in the lead. But right behind Brookie Nanny Messi is Object Fungus. Oh. It looks like Brookie's tyres have gone. And Object will get... He's currently in the DRS zone. Uh, DRS window. Ooh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Object, no! <laughs> oh, no! That, that's probably one of the worst ones I've done. Yeah, definitely. Oh, no! Uh, oh. <laughs> so... Christy will get a point, presuming he finishes, but we'll say a quick uh, well done to what seems to be the winner of tonight's race, Ray Lyx. We're going to keep an eye on the battle for these two. The Merc gets him on the line. Noko gets AMS Drive to the line, and that is why that DRS was so crucial. Yeah, um, I mean, at least AMS tried to pick points up, but it's not a point he wanted to close that gap up. It's not, definitely not the points he wanted at all. So, also picking up points today, P6 was Yorkie. That's a good result for him. Uh, Tornado, P7, Hirsch, P8, awesome car, P9, and picking up. P10 is going to be Christy. Awesome car across the line. Soon to be followed by Christy. I think he might have just set the fastest lap. Yeah, I think he did. I think he snatched it. <laughs> uh, that'll be two points. Uh, object in the chat. We will have a chat about this later. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a real uh, I will say a real boost for the Mercedes who were really needing a good result but yeah as as TS9 points out in the chat it's a great result for them to really kick start their season on the top step tonight then is the Ferrari of Ray Lyx he's done it twice in a row two wins on the trot Ray Lyx in the Ferrari picks up 25 points. Uh, in second place, we've got Brookie Nanny Messi. And third place is Phenom in his second race. A good result from him. Going through the rest of the field... Fourth place is the other Mercedes of Noco. Fifth place losing out on the line is AMS Drive. Stuck with this one stop. It didn't quite work out. Yorkie P6 
Tornado P7, Hirsch P8, awesome car, P9, Christy picks up the last point and the bonus point for fastest lap tonight. Commiserations to Object Fungus, who binned it on the last lap. It was definitely nothing to do with me. Um, I can confirm, definitely nothing to do with me. And everyone in the chat, I'm sure, will agree. <clears throat> so, it before we do the interviews... Um, I know we've got one guy join us so far. Yeah, I think um, the other gents might not join. I know Ray Lyx was, um, it might be late for, for him. Um, same as Phenom, I have invited them as well. Um, but it might, due to the different time zones, might be able to join. Okay, so... We'll give it. We'll give it a little bit longer, and, uh, and or unless until we get confirmation. But as it stands, I think we'll be probably sharing uh, the interview duty um, with the man who has bothered to turn up. <clears throat> oh, yeah, tell you what, a good good end to the race there. I, at least I found it entertaining. Yeah, it was uh, it was interesting. Obviously, it was a bit of a stop start um, due to different safety cars, and obviously we had the, the race restart. Um, but yeah, it was an interesting interesting end to the race, as you mentioned. Yep, and uh, we'll leave it a little while longer, will we? I don't know. I think I think. I think pretty much we're we're we're, we're tied in. Um, so before we go, I'm just going to run over the third place person is um, Phenom. Uh, Phenom in his second ever race tonight in the Mercedes. It's been a, a good result for them. Uh, third and fourth on the grid. He had a little bit of a, a topsy turvy race himself, but he did but. manage to claw his way back through the field and get himself a decent finish in the end in a P3 um, on to the second place man who is here in the party with us right now that is a Brookie Min, Brookie, David Brooks whatever Hello. we want to call him Hello Brookie Hello. Uh, welcome uh. to the party congratulations on P2 once again find yourself on the podium so let's talk about a little um, bit about what went on in that race. <laughs> Obviously, oh. a lot of safety cars. You must have been chopping and changing your strategy. <laughs> yeah. It was going out of fashion. Yeah, well, oh. my original strategy was going to be medium, medium, soft, so I had a good finish at the end, but. I think it was a safety car and a few safety, like laps after the one came out. I was going between either to go out to the hards or stay out and go into the softs on lap 16, which I did, but they were dead at the end, so it worked for a bit, but... Alright, TJ, you got a question? Um, I mean, but there was obviously a lot of safety cars and stuff, and you mentioned a the strategy there, but... Um... We, we questioned about the, the stretch about against the softs with, I think there was 10, 11 laps left to go and whether you'd have the, the pace still. Um, I mean, were you, were you ever worried that tyres would drop off too much? Um, that you wouldn't make it to the end on? Uh, well, I seen Object and Norco, I think it was, behind on five lap of mediums. So I knew, and I seen AMS driving Tornado on East Heart, so I knew if I got past them, hopefully. I would be able to last, and luckily I did. Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah. It, it, obviously, we did see him drop it, and um. And I mean, you 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 had some great battles on track from from what we saw. Um, yeah, yeah. Good racing um, tonight. Um. Obviously, there the, the, there might be some questionable 
um, actions that went round around you, um, not necessarily you yeah, involved yeah, in yeah, them, yeah. but um, yeah. there were some questionable actions. But um, you know, from what from what we saw, it was nice and clean, and you yeah, know, you, yeah, you look, look, look like you enjoyed yourself. Yeah, yeah, it was good tonight. Better than other nights, I'd say, on my part. I think the battles I had were clean, so yeah, I'm happy with it. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Brookie. Once again, you find yourself on the podium. Um, that is, I, I, I've lost count how many this year. There's definitely been a few for you this season. Uh, you haven't. You definitely having a good season. Uh, next week is Canada. Canada is a whole different ball game. Obviously I hate tonight. Canada. Tonight, very easy to avoid the penalties. Next week, Canada will not be the same. You say you hate Canada. How much do you hate Canada? Quite a bit. It's just, I think it's the worst track on this game. For penalties, just, and I'm not good at it. From what I've raced, I'm just, I just don't like the track. So, hopefully I can at least get a few points. But I'm not expecting much. Well... Fair enough, you heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, congratulations to you, Brookie, on your P2. It is. Thank um, you. So today's winner was Ray Lyx, uh, who's unfortunately not in the chat tonight, is unable to join us. It was a late one for him. I'm very glad he stuck it out for the restart. Um, he uh, started P2. Um Unfortunately, on both starts, got out dragged by AMS Drive, um, who was on the softs, of course. But um, after losing out in the first corner, I believe, or the second corner of uh, the restart, manages to compose himself. He puts on the medium tyres and uh, tells himself that he's going to the end no matter what. And he did, and he ended up on the top step of the podium tonight for the second week in a row. So congratulations to that man. Uh, we're going to take a quick second to possibly think of driver of the day. And Tijum, do you, do you have anyone in mind? Um... I'm going to go with, obviously the guys drove a really good race and with the stop starts and stuff. But I am probably going to give it to Phenom. He started P11, finished P3. Um, so yeah, it's, it's his second race. Um, you know, he has shown some good pace. Um, yeah, I, I think Phenom's my drive today. Yeah, I'm, I'm inclined I'm inclined to agree. I think he, he was definitely my shout. Um, it's the first name that came to mind. As you said, um, second race ever. Uh, I think last week out in Spain wasn't wasn't the greatest for him, but he uh, came through tonight. He came through into P3. Uh, special mention for uh, a couple of drivers. I think uh, Collateral Ads until he binned it, and Object Fungus as well until he binned it as well. Uh, definitely didn't commentate his cursing, no matter what anyone says, especially Grounds Groundsy. <laughs> um, uh, yes, that's right, Groundsy. When you at me in your team garage, I still get a notification, <laughs> despite the fact I'm not in your team. So, thanks for that. <laughs> um, anyway, I think that's all we've got time for uh, tonight. Uh should we should we have a little shout out for for the website? Let's have a shout out for the website. Uh, of course, if you like what you see and you you think you want to give it a go, we are an Xbox League. Obviously, um, we do it three nights a week, uh, tier ones through three. If you like what you see, you want to have a go yourself. Uh, you can find a form to fill in at FairPlayRacingLeague.com. Check out for your weekly uh, your weekly fix of FPRL if you can't wait for the races uh, you can also follow us on Twitter which is at FairPlayRL and 
obviously you're on our Twitch and you can find us on YouTube on Fair YouTube. Play Racing yeah. League. That is all we've got time for, ladies and gentlemen. Have I missed anything, oh. TJ? <laughs> I don't think I have. Um, I don't think I have. Nothing I can think of now. Oh, well, I'm second-guessing myself now. Either way... Oh, oh and, and one thing I haven't done tonight... Fuck! There you go, I've sworn. <laughs> I've got, got to get a swear word in by the end of the stream. <laughs> doesn't really count if i do it myself like on purpose but never mind anyway that's all we've got time for thank you very much i have been your host david lowface joined by the ever fabulous tjm or tjm tjm <laughs> thanks everyone for tuning in and be sure to tune in tomorrow at eight for the tier two race thank you very much and good night